Welcome to Morning Prayer and Worship. This is Thursday in Ordinary Time, proper 27 in the church calendar. My name is Ben. I'm so glad you're here. You can go to benwarmusic.com slash prayer request. We'd love to pray for you. An announcement that next week, the week of Thanksgiving here in the U.S., will be off the podcast, no episodes. I'll be away with my family. And I'll look forward to returning November 27th. May my prayer like incense rise before you. The lifting of my hands a sacrifice. Oh, Lord Jesus, turn your eyes upon me. For I know there is mercy in your sight. Your statutes are my heritage forever. My heart is set on keeping your decree. Please still my anxious search toward rebellion Let love keep my will upon its knees Oh God, you are my God And I will ever praise you Oh God, you are my God I will ever praise you To all creation I can see a limit Your commands are boundless and have none So your word is my joy and meditation From the rising to the setting of the sun and all your ways are loving and are faithful Your road is narrow but your burden light Because you gladly lean to lead the humble I shall gladly kneel to leave my pride Oh God, you are my God I will ever praise you Oh God, you are my God And I will ever praise you Oh God, you are my God And I will ever praise you 
Merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. To the glory of your name. Amen. Psalm 23 The Lord is my shepherd I lack nothing He makes me lie down in green pastures He leads me beside quiet waters He refreshes my soul He guides me along the right paths For his name's sake Even though I walk through the darkest valley I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Psalm 27 The Lord is my light and my salvation, whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life, of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked advance against me to devour me, it is my enemies and my foes who will stumble and fall. Though an army besiege me, my heart will not fear. Though war break out against me, even then I will be confident. One thing I ask from the Lord, this only do I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze on the beauty of the Lord and to seek Him in His temple. For in the day of trouble, He will keep me safe in His dwelling. He will hide me in the shelter of His sacred tent and set me high upon a rock. Then my head will be exalted above the enemies who surround me, At his sacred tent, I will sacrifice with shouts of joy. I will sing and make music to the Lord. Hear my voice when I call, Lord, be merciful to me and answer me. My heart says, if you seek his face, your face, Lord, I will seek. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. You have been my helper. Do not reject me or forsake me, God, my savior. Though my father and mother forsake me, the Lord will receive me. Teach me your way, Lord. Lead me in a straight path because of my oppressors. Do not turn me over to the desire of my foes, for false witnesses rise up against me, spouting malicious accusations. I remain confident of this. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and take heart. And wait for the Lord. We wait on you, God. We wait on you. We wait on you. We wait on you, Lord. We wait on you. Glory to the Father, 
and do the sun and do the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now Our scripture lesson is Revelation 19, 1 through 10. After this, I heard what sounded like the roar of a great multitude in heaven shouting, Hallelujah! Salvation and glory and power belong to our God, for true and just are his judgments. He has condemned the great prostitute who corrupted the earth by her adulteries. He has avenged on her the blood of his servants. And again they shouted, Hallelujah, the smoke from her goes up forever and ever. The twenty-four elders and the four living creatures fell down and worshipped God, who was seated on the throne, and they cried, Amen, Hallelujah. Then a voice came from the throne, saying, Praise our God, all you his servants, you who fear him both great and small. Then I heard what sounded like a great multitude, like the roar of rushing waters, and like the loud peals of thunder, shouting, Hallelujah, for our God Almighty reigns. Let us rejoice and be glad and give Him glory, for the wedding of the Lamb has come and His bride has made herself ready. Fine linen, bright and clean, was given to her to wear. Fine linen stands for the righteous acts of God's holy people. Then the angel said to me, Write this, blessed are those who are invited to the wedding supper of the Lamb. And he added, these are the true words of God. At this I fell at his feet to worship him. But he said, don't do that. I am a fellow servant with you and with your brothers and sisters who hold to the testimony of Jesus. Worship God, for it is the spirit of prophecy who bears testimony to Jesus. Hallelujah, Amen, Amen. Hallelujah, Amen, Amen. I believe in God the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Our collect of the day, the prayer we pray together collectively on this Thursday of ordinary time, proper 27 in the church calendar. O God, whose blessed Son came into the world that he might destroy the works of the devil and make us children of God and heirs of eternal life, grant that having this hope, we may purify ourselves as he is pure, that when he comes again with power and great glory, we may be made like him in his eternal and glorious kingdom, where he lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. You can lead us in a time of guided prayer. I'll give prompts, continue to play. Pray specifically and by name for those in your life. Lift your own heart up to the Lord, joys, thanksgivings, trials, worries, fears, celebrations.
I'll seek you in the morning I'll seek you in the evening I'll seek you all day long Let's pray for friends, acquaintances, co-workers fellow students whoever the Lord lays on your heart lift them up now families, our extended families, whatever that means in your life today, lift them up. grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen and amen. Go in the peace and the power and the presence of the Holy Spirit. Praise Him in the morning and the evening and all day long. Morning Prayer and Worship is a production of Steady Stream Ministries. Thank you for your donations. Benmoremusic.com slash donate. We need you and we thank you. Let's pray together again tomorrow. Bye-bye.